get some in your life. What's happening, good people? You know what it is. It's Thursday. It's time to check in on our Health is Wealth Chicago Marathon training. It's week five. You know what it is. You see the headband. You see the headphones. You see the dripping sweat. The hard work. You know the H2O is closely nearby. You gotta remember to get some in your life. So, what's up? We're rounding out week five. You know, I just want to review real quick. The end of week four was treachery. You know, I show you on my on my list here. I got I'm a little sweaty, so I got it kind of sweaty here. But this was the end of week four here. I had to run ten miles or nine miles. I'm sorry, you can see it right there. Nine miles. It's kind of wet, but nine miles. So today I'm over here on Thursday. Just finished out a three mile run. I got a rest day tomorrow, which may not happen. Ten miles on the weekend, so it's gonna get it's gonna get way more intense again. But last week. The nine mile run felt pretty good. You know, I ran the nine miles when I hung out with my brother Randell Beeman. Hung out with him at his house. He just put in a new patio. Big up. Very nice. Great time there. But after nine miles, you know, I was able to consume a little beer, have some good times. I did get in bed a little early as expected. That Sunday, I went with the jump rope and wind sprints again. And man, let me tell you, them wind sprints. My sprinting muscles haven't worked since I was uh, playing football in college. And it, it really shows. My hamstrings are burning. Things are really hurting. Uh, I guess, I guess all of that is a good thing, you know, you're supposed to push yourself, so felt pretty good going into the week, had a rest day on Monday, Thursday, Tuesday I put in three miles, uh, Wednesday, yesterday I put in five miles, and that five miles really, really hurt, you know, I think uh, I didn't properly prepare for the run, I didn't eat right, I only ate a little bit of uh, fruit salad and uh, it just really didn't carry enough energy as I was out there running the sun was beating down on me you know that fruit salad would have been great afterwards I gotta stick to my peanut butter and oatmeal before I run peanut butter and oatmeal and maybe a banana or something like that like before I run so I gotta get back to that routine so I can't make that mistake again because I was hurting on that five miles and it, I mean it's five miles but it really shouldn't have felt that way today three mile run after a little bit of rain so you know it was hot and humid I'm, I'm a lot more sweaty than last week over a three mile run um, but it felt good. I got it done. Got it out of the way. Uh, like I said, I may be doing 10 miles tomorrow. I'm not really sure. Gonna see what's going on with that. I uh, would like to have a rest day if I could in between that, but whatever. We're gonna get it done. So, but with that, I want to say also that, you know, this is the prelude to my push, but I'm gonna start getting back into my philanthropy or back, getting back on my goal to be a philanthropist. You know, a lot of Capitalists, a lot of people like to generate wealth, they like to do it for themselves, but my one of my major goals is to generate wealth so I can share with other people or share my relationships and my um, network with people in order to get, gather donations, organize people, and make things happen for those that have been less fortunate than I have. You know, I heard a great saying, you know, in your community you should never be a burden, you should always be uh, there for your community, you should be a, uh, a relief to your community and not a burden so you be a relief by giving service. I also heard Les Brown say um, service is the rent that we pay for the space we take up here on earth which is something that's very powerful uh, something I think a lot of us should remember more often but to give service to give back as much as we can. So with that I'm gonna be raising money for the Hazelcrest Public Library which is a library here in my community. I would like to generate two thousand dollars in order to do some type of either youth program or generate some books, computer technology, workshop sessions or something, generate geared towards the youth and so that they don't continue to be far behind the rest of America and the world uh, because of their lack of educational opportunity. So that's something I want to do. I'm going to be running 26.2 miles come October 10th in the Chicago 2010 Marathon. So if I can run 26.2 miles, I'm hoping you can donate $26 to the cause. 100 people, $26, that's 2600 bucks. We smash the goal. We get something very positive done in the Hazelcrest community. Looking forward to making it happen and come through fruition. For the big shots out there, if you can do $52, that'd be great. I think I'm going to design a $100, maybe in a $500 package. Go out to some of these corporations and get them to throw some of their money back into our community and help out the people that need the most help anyway. So uh, I'll get back with you on that. Week 5 rounding out Chicago 2010 Marathon Training. I'm Freddie Taylor reminding you health is an important priority in your life and it's not going to get better if you, don't, if you don't get outside, you know, and at least go to a gym and work out and actively uh, do something about it. It's great to pray, you know, for good health and things of that nature, but instead of praying for good health, pray for the strength to continue to work for your good health 
and to get out there and make it happen every day because God is amazing, but he only works when you do. So remember that, but also remember that all things happen first in the mind, then in reality. Let's go get them.